Let's take a look at how to use Windows Movie Maker. So I'm going to go to Movie Maker here, or I can do a search for Movie Maker. Okay, and you see it will come up on your list if you look for it in your search. So let's open it up. So here is my Movie Maker interface. On the left here, I've got a preview of how my movie is looking. And on the right here, I have an arrangement of clips and images and music that I'm going to be using to make my actual movie. So the first thing I need to do is import my video files. So I go here to add videos and photos. And then it lets you look here at your resources available. So the first thing I might put in is just an image. Okay, and that image can come straight in and that can start off my movie. Then after this image, I might want to actually put in a video file. So I'll go to add video files again. And this time I'm going to look for a video file that I've actually saved in a specific location. So I might do this one here on communication systems. And it brings across my entire video. Now, I mightn't want the entire video in my actual new assignment. So what I can do is I click on a certain part and I'm going to press right click and I'm going to do what's known as a split. That splits my file now into two. Now, it might be the middle portion of my video that I don't want anymore. So I'm going to click over here, right click again, and go split. And now I can actually delete this middle portion of my video. So click and delete. And I'm able to remove parts of my video where I might have made an error or are not relevant to the actual video that I'm creating. What I can also do is insert actual titles. So I might make it that right at the beginning of my video, I'm going to have a title come up and it's going to be called, just say, welcome. Now this title with the text tools, I can highlight it and I can change colors and I can also make it larger fonts as well as different fonts. So let's see, what have I got available? Let's just go there. Okay, so and there's a welcome message for my video. These welcome messages can also go over the actual slides themselves, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it here. So let's have a quick preview of my movie. Okay, up comes my welcome message. Okay, and it goes for a bit of time. And then it's going to start with the actual image and then get into my video. Now, I might not actually want the image to occur here. I might want this image to be at the end of my movie. So because it's its own section, I can just click and drag it to the end. Okay. Now, the final thing I want to show you is adding transitions between slides. So what I do is I go to Video Tools and I go to Animations. I can actually put in a different slide here. So I might make it so I don't want it there. I want it at the beginning of this one here. And we might have a switch where it crosses the screen. So let's go. Welcome. Okay, so I was able to add in a slide transition there. So I hope these small amount of skills help assist you in starting up your video for your assignment. So you need a source video to import. You can bring in images. You can also bring in music if you have music files on your computer, as well as still images that allow you to combine to make one big multimedia video. Once you have finished your movie, then click on Save Movie, and it gives you a whole range of ways you can save it for different types of devices but school pretty much requires you to save it, recommended for this project, which saves the movie in an MP4 file. Pick your folder location where you want to save your finalized movie and then click save. So I hope that all is clear for you. Good luck.